Hey friends Dave here and welcome to I expect you to die home sweet home overview. Well let's start the quest pro lunch day shall we? I remember last time around for a quest to lunch I had to make like a battle plan for what's there to come because we had 5 plus releases coming to the store immediately. Today is a little bit different because pro is not necessarily focused on gaming so there are stuff that I will just miss or do maybe later on because they're just not interesting to me specifically. There are a couple things that are unknown to me still like what's gonna be the recording process because pass through is very hard on the quest too but seeing some trailers from other stuff it seems like it's not blocked anymore by the software also i'm not sure what's gonna be the length of the experience is my space even enough for it like my studio is not that big maybe for some stuff i would have to record at home like we'll have to see let's start with this one so i expect you to die home sweet home is a mixed reality spin-off from the original game you're gonna transform your space into the escape room game filled with tricky puzzles set up by dr zor and just like always you have to solve them in order to survive this is like a next generation of gameplay that mixes up virtual reality and augmented reality which is mixed reality by default anything from shell games and this franchise essentially is gonna be really fun to play i'm not sure if the trailer shows quest to footage or pro like it seems relatively low quality in terms of textures but regardless of that it seems to be bringing core mechanics and features from the series which to this day is considered one of the top tier vr experiences ever it supports both headsets which is because of the requirements but on the pro it's gonna be much more immersive because of the color pass through and less distracting stuff with the lenses for sure so it's not necessarily an exclusive already but i told you on the stream it will essentially go down to this just like it was with quest 2 it's just a matter of time because if you give someone a new technology they're gonna use it and the price won't matter at all at the end of the day let's go escape from our home <laughs> well look who made its reappearance on my channel my trusty link setup pretty much the problem with side quest and pass through was that i could not just access it through wi-fi but then i was brainstorming and i feel like through cable it should have been working and it does so at last i resolved pretty much everything i was bitching about and let's just enjoy some pass from gameplay now <laughs> also there's nothing to see on this shelf don't look at it <laughs> because i can see the bottom of my headset i don't know why the footage is curved Okay, we'll see how that's gonna go. Ah, I see you've arrived. Sending you home in a box was the best way we could think of to smuggle you out of our top secret medical facility. Oh, uh, you might notice your color vision isn't what it used to be. That's a known side effect of your new ocular implant. The doctors assure me it will pass. Eventually. Let's get you out of that box, shall we? It's equipped with our new self-deploying box begone acidic spray nozzles. Simply press that button in front of you and you'll be home free in a moment. <laughs> you mean dead? I know this game. Oh, that reminds me. Your telekinesis should still be functional after the operation. I had the box team leave you a reference card for your convenience. It's useful for, well, grabbing things far away. What? Okay, and that's how it's gonna work. Damn it, but I need really to have space to do it. Should I bring my laptop to my home and then play there? I actually might not have a choice though. Like, stuff is too far away. Well, this is gonna be a very complicated thing to record, huh? It could not be that easy. <laughs> 24 hours later. Welcome to my home. <laughs> I had to move the whole setup here and just do this thing because it's just not applicable in my studio. Also he said I can't do it from the distance. I absolutely forgot about it and I'm not sure if it actually works so I'll just grab this. Well this game is all about kinda discovering what's going on and Trying to survive. <laughs> oh my god. Is it even... Yeah, it blocks me out, so... I guess I could do it in the studio at the end of the day. Whatever. <laughs> the 
and dead. Occasionally, one must think inside the box. Now then, it's time we checked your location for listening devices. Dr. Zor has eyes and ears everywhere. We sent you off with a Bugfinder 3000. Find it and pick it up so we can begin. Sorry for the laundry and just mess, <laughs> but that's how I did. <laughs> Ah, the Bugfinder 3000. To operate it, simply point it at a large open wall you wish to scan and squeeze the trigger. If everything appears properly aligned, select Scan to begin the sweep. Oh dear, it seems all bugged your location all right. And the no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm afraid that Bugfinder has taken its last shot. Oh my god, <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> Ew. Your gloves may protect you, Agent. For a moment. What, what do I do then? <laughs> this... No! <laughs> uh, get off me, bitch! Oh, I need to shoot the sprinkler, but... I think I threw away my gun. Maybe I just punch this thing into the sprinkler. <laughs> Your gloves may protect you, Agent. For a moment. Oh my god, I have no idea. How am I stuck already? Oh! <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could grab it, okay. Jesus Christ. Good show, Agent. You defeated those Zordons. It's time we talked about the features of your new ocular implant. There, I've activated them. Try gently moving your hand to your forehead. This is luminal mode. <laughs> it allows you to see chemical residue that is otherwise invisible. Now, if you tap again, you'll find X-ray mode. You should be able to see through... Wait, what's that hissing sound? Do you hear that? <laughs> Poisonous gas! Quick, Agent! There must be a hidden valve somewhere! <laughs> no! I'm not gonna be gassed in my own apartment. <sighs> now, where were we? Ah, yes. You can tap your head one last time to return to your normal vision. Just remember to... Hang on. What could possibly be the Oh shit, my stuff. <laughs> Goodbye. Quickly! Find a way to shut it down. Uh Oh my god. Heavens, that shock nearly killed you. Shield yourself. What more? <laughs> A shit. A code! <laughs> I can't see it! Oh! <laughs> but in what? Damn it! <laughs> it doesn't work like consistently. I've had problems with the valves before. I didn't show it on the footage, but now grabbing doesn't really work. So it's not 100% like chance. <laughs> I don't know what's the correct combination. Ah, that seems to have done the trick. Excellent work, Agent. I'm certain an agency representative will contact you within four to six business days regarding the cleanup of the considerable damage to your residence. Until then, do try to get some rest. <laughs> Okay, so that was pretty much it, like, fast recording, I mean, I knew it's gonna be like a mini mission, it was actually the first time I tried fully on mixed reality because it's not really possible in my studio because of the space limit, though I completely forgot I can just do stuff from a distance in this series, so maybe my bad, but I can also record some other stuff that released at the same time. It's quintessential, I expect you to die with just additional technology, you know? There are some wonkiness in the mechanics, I'm pretty sure it's because of this. So it's not like 100% polished as I remember it, but using the full spectrum of this headset, like, 
it does the job then. But like the immersion is way bigger comparing if you're in VR and like in MR here. Especially like this Hornet situation, that was like crazy for the first time because it's almost like real life. There might be some discrepancies in terms of just quality of the image still, but at the end of the day, this is the closest thing we can experience for now. All in all, enjoyed it. Let me just record some other stuff. <laughs>